During the summer of 2015, I decided I wanted to do something with my Queen Kirai story that went beyond the scripts. At first, I wanted to upload a script weekly with a few sketches in each, but I ended up not doing that in fear of someone stealing my story and work. Yes, I was paranoid, and yes, I eventually got it copyrighted. Anyway, during that summer, the idea of having a few scenes acted out from each episode came to me, so I started my search for voice actors. I was looking through demo reels on YouTube and contacting anyone I thought could fit a character. My first voice actor was Kai. I enjoyed hearing his fan dubs of some of my favorite anime, so I reached out to him and to my luck, he was willing to help. He became my voice actor for Sapphire. I continued to contact people on YouTube for the next few days, and also used the website Voice Acting Alliance to find people. Within a week, I had a group of voice actors that were willing to help me with my project. I was so excited, I told my friends about it and offered them a chance to voice act in the drama city they wanted. My friend Ray voiced Minori for the first episode, but sadly she had to stop due to microphone problems and the uh, light. <laughs> but she was still really enthusiastic about the drama city, so thanks Ray! <laughs> Eventually, I had Balik. I hope I didn't pronounce that right. <sighs> Balik? Balik? You know who you are. Cameron, Mike, Grant, Mioka, and so many others on board. And I finally had everyone I needed to start the first episode. At that point, I made a choice to have the entire episode voice acted, and not just a few scenes. I was biting off more than I could chew, and I had no idea how I was going to go about making an entire episode of Queen Kirai. But I knew I'd find a way, so I just took the chance and. I did my best to make the first episode happen. I bought my editing software, scanned all the sketches my sister had been doing for me, went through sound effects I could use, and began to put my voice actors' lines together. It was tough at first, and I tried my best to make it interesting. Thanks to my amazing voice actors, I was able to complete the first episode of Koi and Kirai's drama CD. The first episode of Koi and Kirai was uploaded on YouTube in December 2015. Sometime before Christmas, I think, or after Christmas, like... Yeah, my first episode! <laughs> As the months went by, I continued this process and started to get better with editing and making each episode better than the previous one. Fast forward to now, I have six completed episodes for the Plan Kid I Drama CD and three completed episodes for the Fate of Cross Drama CD, which I decided to do a drama CD for that story because I wanted to share another story of mine that I thought some people would like. So, Fate of Cross and Plan Kid I are currently the two stories I have drama CDs for on YouTube, so I hope you guys like it. It's been a lot of fun hearing my stories come to life through voice actors, sound effects, music, and sketches. There have been some moments of frustration and wanting to give up, but I'm more determined than ever to keep going. More determined now than ever to keep going. <laughs> little by little, people became interested in my stories and supported me. I have a long way to go to have a big audience for my drama CDs and weekly scripts, but I have faith that it will happen someday. I definitely have many other stories in the works for contests. Let's see, I have my soulmate story, my vampire story, my sci-fi story, my Jack the Ripper theme story, my BL story, the three miniseries on the branch of Coin Kira, so I have those stories, and I also have a movie script that I'm working on for Coin Kira. Um, I have another novel story, so yeah, I'm just... I have a lot of stories. <laughs> I have a lot of stories that I'm writing and that I'm revising and editing for these contests, um, screenplay contests I've been doing for two years now. Um, and you know, I just, I'm getting better and better and I'm really, really excited and I hope that one day you guys will be able to see my sci-fi story in the theaters or, you know, as a book because I, I wrote my sci-fi story as a, as a screenplay and as a book, so I'm still working on that. But uh, I really hope you guys like those stories as much as you like Coin Kira and Fade Across. So who knows? Hopefully one day you'll see them on Netflix, and movie theaters, and stores, or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> now with Drama CD episodes, blooper videos, sketch videos, previews, Q&A videos, about the story videos, and much more, I look forward to continuing these projects, continuing writing, and getting closer and closer to making my dreams come true. Becoming a screenwriter, novelist, and having people enjoy my stories. Those are my dreams, and I plan to accomplish them. 
Thank you, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, thank you to everyone who's helped me, to everybody who's been interested in my stories. Um, and thank you for these two years that have been um, really crazy, really fun, and just a lot of progress from when I started to now. And I really hope it continues. Um, I'm so excited. And I'm definitely going to be so, so, so happy when we reach episode 10. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we're halfway through the season, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, thank you again so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you guys have been enjoying everything I've uploaded on this um, YouTube channel. I hope to bring you guys more content. I hope to be more creative than what I do, and, um, yeah, thank you so much. Oh! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll catch you guys later, and I hope you guys, like, the rest of the stuff I bring onto this channel, and, uh, yeah. Links below, where you can find the um the scripts that I upload weekly and then sketches I share and other stuff so thanks guys and I'll see you next time bye oh god <laughs> during the summer of 2015 during the summer of 2015 I decided I wanted to do <laughs> god I'll be a During the summer 2000- Guys, please. During the summer 2015, I decided I wanted to do more of my Queen Kida story that would be on the script. During the summer 2015, I decided I wanted to do more of my Queen Kida story that would be on the script. <laughs>